YTPC, it's your oh ho Uncle Butter coming right back at you from what is kind of a little bit of a rainy and overcast. Well, now it's getting to be a little more partly cloudy. South Central Pennsylvania, Adams County uh, day. Smoking my very, very first briar pipe today. Found it recently in a, among some stuff that had been scrolled away. And uh, got this pipe in 2004. It's a uh, Boswell, and uh, just really love the, the way it fits in your hand and smokes like a dream. In it today, smoke a little Boswell's Premium Burley. Now, if you like Burley blends, if you like a mellow Burley blend, no frills, no craziness, just a nice Burley blend. You could almost codger on this blend. I know, um, I know for myself, uh, my codger Desert Island blend would be Northwoods. I think for the Billy Go Ghost Cob, it might be uh, Dan's blend. It, definitely in amongst those couple. You know, you could really be satisfied um, with with having Premium Burley in that lineup. So if you haven't, it is available online and in uh, both locations. Definitely check that out. That's a really like a mellow sweetness to it. You know, not uh, there's some burleys that are seemingly a little more sour. I'm going to use the terminology. I'm not a, really a an expert or anything, but. Produces a wonderful room note. Um, bag slash tidbit is is right there as well. Just you smell it, and you're like, oh man, that, that's something. You know, you sometimes you smell this little thing. I really don't know. I might know. This is one you're like, oh yes, I think I'll try that. Um, yeah. So speaking of Boswell's, we had a wonderful meetup a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen the pictures in some of the video especially on classical pipes with his uh his live feed and then a bunch of us on our, our ig feeds and facebook um but uh another one of the ytbc members that was there uh cody the smoking fireman uh, and i did a tamper trade i made one of my regular tampers you know the uh stainless hex and the brass screws off of the scraper and he made me one of his and i tell you folks I don't know if I've ever really even seen a tamper that was exactly like this before. So it just, it's a pleasure to have in my collection because like the Billy Goat, I'm a little bit addicted to tampers. So here it is. Well, let me get this reload a little bit first. Let me just tamp it down using the tamper. Look onto it. That's a cool piece of art. That's a cool piece of art. It's a it's a really really interesting thing. Casing on the bottom's a Hornaday, uh, five hundred Smith and Wesson mag, and it's got a beautiful. Uh, I'm going to call it pewter, but I'm not sure if it actually is. Uh, skull with uh, like ruby colored eyes, and then what I really love about this is this piece of acrylic he's put in there, and I talked to him about it after I got it, and I was. Wondering if he did it on purpose or not, but uh, the acrylic is actually dark blue and gray pearlescent. Uh, you're probably not going to be able to say, oh, here comes the monsters. What's Miss Charlotte? She's coming in. But um, really cool, you know, of course, blue and gray, Gettysburg, Civil War. It's all right there. Works like a dream, Cody. And uh, if it is something that you might be interested in, YTBC, YouTube, people that might buy tampers in general... Um, contact him, the smoking fireman. I'm sure he's a, he's a very nice guy, and I'm sure he will be amenable to working on something uh, out for you. Um, that's basically all I had for you guys. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Get out there. Get some sunlight into your eyeballs. Keep that vitamin D up. Keep that smoke rolling. And if you can't help any situation that you find yourself in, try your damnedest not to hurt them. Uncle Butter, signing out.